my fellow Americans. My name is George W. Bush. I am the President of these United States of America and the ruler of the country, the world. And I'm, I'm here today to share with you the Anglican word of the week. There are words in Anglican land that are a little bit different -er than other words. Different -er as in they're, they're not the same as the regular language that we speak. So I thought to myself, hey, El Presidente, that's me. <laughs> Well, maybe I should share with the people these words. So, last week we talked a little bit about the word narthex. Narthex is an Anglican word, meaning something important, like do not gather, because the X and the North. But, this week, we have a new Anglican word. This week, the Anglican word of the week is... Drum roll, please. Okay, okay, that's good. Uh, you, don't, you don't have to if you don't want to. I was just the President of the United States, George W., asking you. But that's okay. It's okay. Uh, the Anglican word of the week is acolyte. Now that might sound funny to some uh, because as you know the beginning of that word acolyte really uh, is an animal. Uh, we call them yaks. They're, they're found uh, up in the mountains and they make noises such as yak Yak! And uh, that's why they are, have been called yak. Um, the plural of yak is, is yaks. Uh, but that's really not necessary for our study on the word acolyte. So the beginning of the word yak a lot is, is yak. And then the, the end of the word is a light, uh, as in turn a light on in your house. Uh, speaking of turning lights on, we have an energy crisis in America, so if you can just not turn the light on, uh, that could help us out a little bit, uh, you know, with global warming and uh, the war with Iraq. Um, so, acolyte begins with the word yak, which is an animal, and ends with the word alight, which is a light. <laughs> uh, so, it really means an animal with light on its head. Uh, it grows, the light comes and grows out of his eyeballs, and, uh, and, and, we celebrate that in Anglican land um, as we call it acolyte. There you go. Anglican word of the week from your El Presidente. Uh, well, my fellow Americans, God bless you. Uh, I am the President George W. I know that God bless Texas. God bless America. See you next week.